there's just no better way to outfit yourself for the outdoors than thrifting. Anytime I go into a thrift store, one of the areas I visit is the bed linens and blankets, and here's why. All of my down, wool, and most of my sleeping bags came from thrifting experiences. Here's what I look for when I'm looking for wool blankets and wool material. While I'm usually in the market for 100% wool blankets, synthetic blends can have benefits such as flexibility and better at shedding water. I've been shopping for wool long enough that I typically know exactly what I'm looking for. Obviously, the best case scenario is there will be a tag. In this case, I know that this is a particular brand and I can Google that and uh, find that in fact this is a 100% wool blanket. On this blanket, there's a tag that tells me exactly what materials the blanket is made of. And in this case, it's only 75% wool. Still a good deal for the campsite. I really like these blankets. And then here's another 100% wool. Unfortunately, there's no tag on this blanket. But there is a way you can determine if the material is wool. To test this blanket, you're going to want to remove a few fibers. Fortunately, this one's showing a great deal of wear and tear. So I'm just going to cut out a couple of fibers that are about an inch or so in length. One of the ways to get some test fibers is to simply take a seam ripper and rip along this hem. And then you can snip off about a half inch of the fibers and you have those for testing and that can be easily repaired. Now this is a synthetic fiber. All synthetic fibers are going to melt more than they burn and in this case you can see we have a hardened piece of plastic remaining from those fibers. Wool will burn quickly but short. It'll almost always burn out and it will leave you with nothing but ash. When you squeeze that, it's just going to be ash. Also, when you're burning wool, you're going to notice a distinct smell or familiar smell of hair burning. And again, nothing but ash. That's from 100% wool. So you may be asking, why does it even matter? Obviously, 100% wool is your best value. But a 75% or even 50% wool garment or uh, blanket can be of great value. It's still going to have some fire resistance and it's still going to have some great, great insulating factors.